Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. Today's video is another top 10 list because who doesn't like top 10s? I'll be going through the best fall fragrances for women in today's video. Gentlemen, not to worry, the video for you guys will be out in a few days. So if you want to know, in my opinion, what are the best fragrances to wear this fall, then make sure to keep on watching. At number 10, we have Woody Perfecto by Parle-moi de Parfum. Now this is a totally underrated niche brand, by the way, which I invite you to try because the fragrances are super nice. They're easy to understand, not the most long lasting, but they smell really good. So anyways, Woody Perfecto is such a beautiful woody scent centered around vetiver. If you like Belle d'Afrique from Byredo and Vetiver Tonka by Hermès, part of the Hermès collection, this fragrance is going to be right up your alley. So Woody Perfecto is dominant in Vetiver and this DNA of Vetiver is very similar to Belle d'Afrique. So that like warm, like almost balmy solar vetiver situation going on. It's a little bit sweet. That is what you'll find in Woody Perfecto. With Woody Perfecto though, you also have some leather and coffee. And I'll say that both of these ingredients are more in a supporting role as, as opposed to being front and center. I get a bit of the coffee, especially in the opening, but other than that, it is really much a vetiver dominant perfume. So I highly recommend you try it if you love vetiver. The only drawback to this fragrance is its performance because it doesn't last a very long time, nor does it project like crazy. So. That is a downside to this perfume, but other than that, it smells really nice. And I believe that Parlement de Parfum have a discovery set on the website, which includes Woody Perfecto. I definitely recommend you sample this fragrance before you buy. I mean, you should sample all fragrances before buying, if you can. So yeah, have a look on the website. I'll pop the link in the description box for the discovery set and this fragrance if you're interested. Number nine, we have Peau Santal by Miller Harris. This perfume is within a similar territory as Santal 33 by Le Labo. So this like creamy sandalwood with like a leathery thing going on. This fragrance though is much easier to wear, I would say, than Santal 33 by Le Labo. I personally don't like the way that Santal 33 smells on me. I find it to be too cloying, too, just too in your face. I love the way it smells on other people, but I don't like to wear it myself. However, I very much enjoy wearing Peau Santal. If you want a beautiful, creamy sandalwood, this fragrance is going to be for you. It's not too sweet either, which is nice. Really lovely perfume, great for like everyday use during the autumn and winter time or the colder months. It's like super easy going. In terms of wear on my skin, it lasts eight hours with a moderate projection. Highly recommend you try it if you like creamy sandalwood fragrances. Next up, we have Ombre Magique by Mise en Cire. And truly, this is a magical amber fragrance. Yes, it is. So, Ombre Magique, what does this fragrance smell like? In my opinion, this is a light and airy amber fragrance. It is not within the sweet, resinous, balmy territory of amber. It is more on the lighter, airy side of things. So you also have notes of cardamom, there's a little bit of rose too, and a very big dose of ambergris. In fact, this fragrance is a celebration of ambergris, which, I mean, is an incredible ingredient, which actually Marie-Antoinette used to put in her hot chocolate as an aphrodisiac. So here's a little fun fact of the day. Anyways, Ombre Magique is a woody, spicy amber with some powdery touches as well. It is such an elegant perfume. It truly is a magical fragrance, really. It feels luxurious, precious, and golden. I'd recommend wearing this fragrance on an evening night out or more for formal occasions during like the colder months. I find that it would work super well. So if you're looking for a more formal fragrance, or you just want to smell like very luxurious smelling for say a nice dinner or like you have like a formal event to go to, I invite you to try Ombre Magique by Mise en Cire. In the number seven position, we have a staple for autumn, fall time, even like the winter time. I feel like this fragrance always features in the top 10 list and for a good reason. It is Rehab by Inicio. This is basically cozy fall day in a bottle. It is really 
just a feel good fragrance. It's spicy, woody and a bit sweet like Oh yeah, it's, it's just like the type of fragrance that you want to wear if it's cold, freezing, like raining outside and you just want to like cozy up by the fireplace. This is the kind of fragrance that you want to wear and like the cozy factor that it gives, if you know what I mean. Like this is a fragrance that I love to wear when it is like super, super cold. I find that it works better in the cold as opposed to when it's hot. The spices really come out and the warmth of like a bit of vanilla with the woods is just an amazing combo. Performance wise on my skin it lasts all day. Not the strongest projecting Initio fragrance, definitely. It's more on like the moderate side but on my skin it does last and so if you are looking for a spicy woody fragrance with a bit of sweetness then this is a great one to try as well. Speaking of spicy fragrances, this list would not be complete without Lune Féline by Atelier des Ors. I mean, at this point, I think you're sick of me talking about this fragrance. I keep on talking about it, but you know what? I really enjoy this perfume and I feel like so many more people need to know about it. So, Lune Féline, the ultimate sexy cardamom vanilla sponge cake. A big dose of cardamom, like crushed cardamom pods, like that, like camphorous like spiciness that you get from natural cardamom is what you'll get in this scent and the vanilla is super natural smelling as well a bit woody a touch animalic and really smoky in the dry down beautiful intoxicating fragrance super sexy vanilla another super long lasting fragrance 12 hours plus on my skin with a huge projection so you don't need that many sprays to fill up a room or to be able to smell this fragrance throughout the day Highly recommend this fragrance. I still have the 15% off discount code going on, which is valid until the 18th of September. The code is Jus de Rose 15. I'll pop it also in the description box in case you're interested in this fragrance. Coming in at number five, we have a delicious gourmand scent. Seta by Moresque. This perfume smells like the most delicious, warm, liquid vanilla caramel that you'll ever smell. It is an incredible fragrance. It is not sticky or too sweet either. It is quite light and airy. I don't know how they did this. It always like baffles me like how this fragrance is done because it doesn't have that like sickly sweet character. Even though it has like vanilla, there's some myrrh as well, some sandalwood, lots of like yummy ingredients that can give like a stickiness factor to fragrances, but it's not the case with Seta. So I mentioned that there is myrrh in this perfume and the myrrh adds a touch of licorice, which is so unusual and really unique and different for a gourmand scent. So if you want a beautiful gourmand that doesn't smell like anything out there, I'd recommend you try out Seta by Moresque. Okay, this next fragrance I'm very excited about and it is a fantastic brand new release from Maison Crivelli. It is called Ingredients. Now this fragrance just launched and I have to say it is my favorite new fragrance from Maison Crivelli and also my favorite within the Extrait de Parfum collection. So the Extrait de Parfum collection is a fragrance collection that is more concentrated, of course, and they're like super long lasting and project really well as well. So ingredients, this fragrance was created to celebrate the 10th year anniversary of the boutique called Ingredients in Prague and the ingredients are actually not disclosed so it's a very mysterious perfume if you will so I'll try my best to describe it but essentially this perfume is a spicy woody fragrance with a touch of sweetness it is very enigmatic super mysterious and for me this is giving me like really cool hipster vibes like cool but chic hipster vibes. That is the kind of vibe that I get from this fragrance. And it's, yeah, I think it's really beautiful. Oh, it, it has like the most beautiful sillage as well. Like I get like whiffs throughout the day of this fragrance and I keep on like smelling myself. I'm like, oh, this smells so good. It's this fragrance. So woody, spicy. I almost get like a bit of like a black tea effect from this perfume and a touch of sweetness. If you like spices and woods, I invite you to try this perfume. In my opinion, this is the best new Maison Crivelli release of the year. 
I think. And I highly recommend it if you want something that is different and quite special as well for the autumn and winter season. Performance wise, this lasts 12 hours plus easy on my skin. If I didn't shower, this fragrance would probably last till the next day. And it also has a huge projection. So it is quite a thick and dense fragrance. You don't need that many sprays. Just a few sprays is perfect on your clothes, on your skin, and you'll be good to go. Ingredients by Maison Crivelli. Coming in at number three, we have another sweet perfume and a sandalwood, of course. Piano Santal from Orchestre Parfum. This perfume is for you ladies, or gentlemen if you're watching as well, who love gourmand sandalwood fragrances. So unlike Peau Santal, which is on the fresher side, Piano Santal is sweet, dense and thick and really yummy smelling. So for me, the best way I can describe this perfume is really like a hot, milky caramel effect. It, it basically smells to me like dulce de leche, like this really sweet, creamy, warm caramel. Oh, this is so good. And I mean, the sandalwood in this perfume is outstanding. It's velvety, creamy, so, so beautiful. This is another fragrance that has a beast mode performance. 12 hours plus with a huge projection as well. And in my opinion, this is the best fragrance to get from L'Orchestre Parfum, hands down. If you are a fan of sandalwoods that are on the sweeter side, you need to get this fragrance. Like that is all I will say. Can't recommend this perfume enough. Piano Santal by L'Orchestre Parfum. Number two, we have a vanilla fragrance. My favorite vanilla at the moment, or oh, actually maybe it's a tie. Well, it's my favorite new obsession, put it this way. It is called Baby Cat from YSL. I've spoken about this fragrance in a few videos already, and it is truly a, an astounding new release from YSL. So it's part of the Vestiaire du Parfum collection, so like the higher end collection of YSL, a little bit pricier, but in my opinion, this fragrance is like worth every single dollar. It is incredible. So it is a spicy, leathery vanilla. It is so sensual. It's like just another like enigmatic and intoxicating fragrance. Very different to Lunefeline. Lunefeline is really more on like the spicy side and the cardamom. Baby Cat is smoky, but like in an incense kind of way with like some suede like undertones in the dry down. It's like even darker, I would say, than Lunefeline. There's no animalic nuance in this fragrance either, as in Lunefeline, you do have a bit of that animalic touch from the vanilla. With here, it's really a intense vanilla that's woody, spicy, and a little bit like suede-like, incense-y in the background. Truly a masterpiece from this line. I adore it performance-wise. It lasts eight hours plus easy, super strong projection. This is a fragrance that I would recommend wearing in the evenings when you want to go out, make an impression and you want to feel great, like I would pop on Baby Cat by YSL. Like, oh, this is incredible. Highly, highly recommend it. And coming in at number one, drum roll please, we have Gris Charnel from BDK. Okay, I don't know if this is the most original choice, but it is the most candid choice, I would say, because I think this fragrance is fantastic. I actually recommended this if in a video that had, if you could only have five fragrances, what would you, what I would recommend? This is one of them. Like this is the one that I would recommend for the autumn and winter season. It is fantastic. I mean, you can see from the dent in the fragrance that, it, I mean, I love this perfume. So this is a frothy, milky chai latte of a fragrance. You have the cardamom. There's also a little bit of fig. So it's slightly fruity, but not too much. There's some sandalwood a little bit of vanilla, some woods. I mean, this is a stunning perfume, honestly. Like, pff, I absolutely adore it. There's also the X-Ray, which I've recommended in the past. If you want a sweeter, creamier, more almondy dry down, go for the X-Ray. But personally, I find that the dry down of the original is stunning because it's a little bit powdery and quite sophisticated and chic, which I really, really enjoy. Just absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to drench myself in this fragrance. And I hope you do too, because it is a masterpiece. It is hyped and it is 100% worth the hype. Performance-wise on my skin, it lasts 
all day, very easy, with a strong projection. Adore this fragrance, and in my opinion, this is the best fragrance to get from BDK. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite fall fragrances to wear this season. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, spread the fragrant love.